YouTube family, YouTube family, it's that type of time for real. The demons are coming out, folks in them is picking sides up in here routinely. It's not a joke. Sides are being picked, and unfortunately, people want to see how real you are. Now, Kodak Black, table twists and turns, took another turn. As you see, Yak is out here tagging and hanging out and cooling the cut with that very man. Yup, you seen him, you spot him, you got him. Kodak Black and spot him, got him. Have this new unheralded relationship, supposedly. Now they cooling, hanging in clubs together. Before we get to that, I feel like, man, we gotta pay these bills right quick. It's good to see y'all again, man. Oh, God. Make sure you follow me at DJ underscore bless one on Instagram and the coolest rocking house gang over here, Smoke Gang. Now, Yak clearly has been going through the ups and downs with the very known beef he's been having with his broski, uh, Jack Boy. You know, it's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. But now people are like, Yak is clearly picking sides over here as far as who he rock with, who he don't. We know Yak is in a beef with Fulio. We don't I don't even want to call it beef. I'm gonna say they're not seeing eye to eye right now. And it's bringing out the worst and all the sides involving in this, all the camps, and you've seen it. And it's still for them niggas trying to fuck me over. Yeah. Them I be missing the act with a motherfucking soda. Uh, I be smoking the two of day niggas. No, I'm never sober. Now you see these viral situations with rappers together. Now we're gonna watch a video of them cooling and chilling together in the club. In the shot, I'm To see them hanging out the way they hang out, it says it says a lot. Like people don't like Kodak Black beefing, they don't like him getting in the circumstances. I look at it as Yak is deciding who he's gonna hang with based on who's more loyal. No more because you're from the same city or state or whatever. It's gonna be a situation where Yak. He's looking at it as who's having the best interest for me. You know, Yak has been making peace with the brother man. You know, NBA lock board. We know NBA got his own thing. He's going on with these court systems. Never broke again situation. So, I mean, Jack Boy's been more vocal. But Yak's been more displaying his moves. You know, like, I'm going to make peace with these individuals. He made peace with Quando, Rondo. And it was a good little thing with him and Quando. If you want me to be honest with you, to see it being brokered and put that way, I mean, what about that could get you mad? I mean, Project Baby is out here to let you know, you know, these tags and collabs are going to be what it is. I mean, Kodak back been saying all of these things to all of us. Hey, put that on there. Brown right. County 954, Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved it, man. I love yeah. the way you rap. Yeah. Um, on a, on a different note, and I don't want to bring the vibe down, but you did have a, a, a good relationship with, uh, obviously, with Triple X. Yeah. And stuff like that. And I know at one point, y'all was, uh, y'all was in, a, you know, kind of locked up in the same area. Right, 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 right. Um, and I know you weren't here to be able to, you know, you know, vibe that situation out. Yeah. But um, that was that was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Cause like, I want to find that. It's like, like my phone, like my phone, the the phone that I had is like, you know, them people still got it and stuff like that. It's like he was Facetiming me, right? Mm -hmm. And I was, I was a lab, but at the same time, I was like, I was recording what he was saying, cause he was like, man, like he was like he was hollering at me like right before I went in January. Mm -hmm. It was like, uh. Or you got like demons around you, the stuff like that. So he was he was just like talking to me and stuff. We were, we were talking to each other. Like he was just like my phone, the, the phone that I had is like at the same time I was like I was recording what he was saying because he was like man, like he was like he was hollering at me like right before I went in January. Mm -hmm. It was like uh, or you got like demons around you. Got you. Like years ago when I still remember, it. I tried to tell my dog one of my dogs got married. I tried to tell him like nah man, you got to do it like this here. 
Now, Kodak, this is a videos and receipts of Kodak over the time frame explaining to you what he's been through, explaining to you what these situations are, and it goes back to a lot, several interviews like this in particular. The, the, the melodies and the, and the general craziness of your character, yeah. that gives me an, an a, a, for me, reminds me just been like my like my whole family like like running streets you feel me so i was been popping since the jit you feel me so it don't matter so you were used to it when the time came when the music started yeah. hitting. and when did you start making music i mean i was i was i was messing around early and stuff but uh like 25 nah. like Sherm or something? Is Man, like listen, like crackheads putting down a pipe for flock or like, oh, okay. yeah. like bath okay. salts or something. Yeah, so hearing. like, and how long had you guys been on each other's radar for for a while? Okay, that year, that year before I came home, I would listen to a song on the radio. Look at me, yeah, look yeah. at me. I'm like this shit right. You feel me? Uh, I came home though, like yeah, he rock with me and stuff. Like, is he shit? Nah, don't download that. Yeah, my kid's probably not listening to this anyway, but. <laughs> yeah, so so I called it ZZ. You feel Make it easier. But what yeah. is Z shit, though? What is that? Z. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a Z. Zombie on Earth. So. Got it. Um, ah, okay. got, it, got, it, got, got it, got it, got it. So, got it, got it. Did you see? Um... For Yak to speak to these type of fake people, you can see that Yak is very reserved to who he hangs with. You know, like, he don't. He don't rock there. Now let's fast forward to the Fulio situation. You know, spot him, got him is 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 is, 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 is Fulio people. You know, so what's going Go on? Go ahead, send me that. If we jump in the car with you right now, man, what you listening to, Kodak? Who you listening to? If I got in right now, you listening to you? What you wanted to be growing up, Kodak? What you wanted to be growing up? I want to be an architect. Okay, okay. Yeah, I want to be an architect. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? First thing I do when I wake up, I stay like, I stay laid back. I figure out how I'm going to play this day. Like I, I, like I visualize my day first before I can. Now for Yak to explain all these in and outs and what he got you know what i'm saying going on here you got to understand where yak is coming from having several people around him and not having a better interest let's put kodak black in a lot of intros of situations you know possibly that could be good and bad bad for the time being i mean yak got situations with rappers like mimo 600 now beefing with him and saying certain things because of picking sides. We do know Mimo rocks with Julio Fulio, so Mimo likes Julio Fulio, but when Mimo see Yak is clicking up with the likes of NBA Young Boy, you know, it's gonna make you feel some type of way. I don't care who you are, or what you say, to see Young Boy and Yak together, it, it, it's not ever gonna be a good sign to the, to the back and forth, because people are always gonna say you out here you know, again, picking sides. Everything is about picking sides. Yes, in some cases, you have to pick a side. People don't got time to wait to see who's cool with each other on their socioeconomic behaviors or whatnot. I mean, dudes not uh, break up from being friends every day if you want me to keep it a stack. It's, it's not weird to see two friends not be cool no more, but what is weird to see a, a progress situation, man, you know, to, to link up and get that real bag to see it fall through and go through the ins and outs of what we've seen online. It's not, it's not ever going to be good, man. It's not ever going to be cool at that. But multiple interviews we see where Yak explains to you. Now, check out what John Wick had to say about Kodak Black and Jack Boy, if there was friends or not, going back uh, like three months before the beef and the falling out. I don't know, right? They haven't seen Jack Boy and Kodak together since they both been out. You, you went on IG Live and you mentioned it, and now it's a viral clip on YouTube. Yeah. And, you know, the fans want to know, like... It's a viral clip on YouTube? Well, you went on you went on IG Live, and people made their little title about Jack Boy and Kodak, and you know I, I just want to ask you like where do they dude. stand because the fans always make their little shit up. Cause like Jack Boy, he SG, you know what I'm saying? He was stepping with me and little bro. 
that's Lil Bro, that's Lil Bro, Lil Bro. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, however everybody feeling, anybody feeling, they need to straighten that. Cause, bitch, he ain't around, but he round though. You ain't hear him stop screaming at him. You ain't, bitch. Ha! <laughs> ha! We sniper game born. You feel me? This Cause shit. you know when when Kodak was in jail. Jack Boy went on a crazy run. So, so when Kodak get out, we thinking, you know, it's about to be like Mario and Luigi. It's about to be Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Right? It's the I Smash mean, Brothers. Out. It's the Smash Brothers. Okay. You feel <laughs> I me? I see where you going. Luigi doing his thing. Mario doing his thing. Klay Thompson and they not together no more. I don't be in that sport shit, but bitch. bitch yeah, Clay, they still on the same Clay thing. still shooting them man. threes. <laughs> Curry still shooting them threes. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't, you know, I don't. Now, Jack Boy gave his perspective on, on the beef, you know what I mean? But I want to go to a young Kodak and what he had to say, the situations like this, from a different perspective. No, that shit was crazy. What are some of your favorite books? Like four, four Fourth in Effect, the Rick Ross book, How to Hustle and Win, the Supreme Winner. And he don't even talk about hustling and winning. Shit. He talk about like, oh, he talk about deep shit. If I say it right now, y'all yeah. wanna go get that book. So really, I think he called it. Look, 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 look. That, that book right there, bro. I, bro, I love that book. I read that book. Some games you play, some games play you. And, um, that's just like another scene that. Yeah. You can have sauce, but don't get lost in the sauce, you know what I'm saying? Because all the time, you think you playing somebody, but the whole time you playing you, or while you playing them, you really playing yourself at the end, you know what I'm saying? Very true. Yeah. Uh, I go for a whole lot of shit. On this one, you said it was from your, it was from another guy, but I'm still going to say it because I still like the quote. Yeah, you text me that in the Got morning. It. <laughs> and I was just, you know, pray. That's all you got to do, pray. I want that Bible. Young Kodak had a lot of perspectives, as you guys can see. Young Kodak was really talking that talk. Young Kodak was doing that, man. These are situations that I look into, and I hope we can have peace again. But as for me, seeing Kodak Black hanging with Julio's friend, spot him, got him, Jacksonville partner, I don't take nothing out of it. I just want everybody to be careful and safe. But I do know things can happen because of friendships like that. Folks is going to continue picking side, looking at their homie sideways. We know how things get popping and things get started out here. So keep your, your vibes going, man. And we hope the spirits keep everything here right because we see a lot going on. and It's, it's just a lot out here. I ain't going to even lie to y'all. I ain't going to hold y'all. It's a lot going on in these so-called streets. We hope everything is cool. But folks is picking sides for real and... I don't know, man. We'll see what everything's going on, man. Look, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of that I Smoke Hip Hop. Blessings, gang.